seeing the improvements you're making in your content, the fact that you're making music true to you, the fact that, you know, um, you're not here to try and compete with people, you're just here, you found your own lane and you're thriving in it, bro, it's all encouraging, man. So my words to you is I'm thankful for just even being an example, bro. You know what I'm saying? And also the fact that you don't hear or see people's messages and be like, right, well, you know, I've got too many of these, so come you actually are somebody that gets back to people. So bro, continue being the person that you are and it will definitely be good to see more videos from you just touching on your mindset as well. Maybe books, things like that, because I think you'll definitely be a great inspiration, especially to a lot of these um, impressionable youths now. So appreciate you, bro. What's going on YouTube family? It's KC, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to train your mindset, how to deal with certain obstacles, being creative or just normal life. You can come up against obstacles where if you're not, if your mindset is not strong, it's going to just, you're just going to crumble. So I just want to share with you some tips that I've, that's helped me to grow, grow my mindset, which is a daily thing. It's a daily habit that you have to get into and just to be the best version, be my best version. And hopefully these tips will help you as well. So you can get to where you're supposed to be in life and have an amazing mindset where you're able to just overcome certain situations, which most of the time has got a lot to do with perception. Voice is a bit croaky today. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's cold season, flu season. So yeah, it's probably just a little bit of a sniffle coming on, but we get through it. Anyway, before we jump into the video, I just want to shout out my two newest subscribers. Shout out Nicholas Gutierrez Pinzon and Joshua Lawrence. Thank you both for subscribing. Hope you hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for this video and future videos. Favorite comment this week is coming from Duo Say So. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. You could be using, you're always going to be learning new things. I'm always learning. The learning never stops. Always learning. So yeah, appreciate your comment, bro. Glad you're a part of the community. Hope you get some more value from the videos that I'll be putting out. Enough of that. Let's jump into this video. So yeah, first of all, shout out Sansa, Sansa Sensei for the idea for the topic for this video, um, discussing mindsets and mindset and how I've been able to get to where I am now by my way of thinking and being and doing things. Um, because he was going back to when I had that producer battle and there was like comments and stuff going off and he was saying, talking about how I was able to stay composed and like not get drawn out. And I think one of the big things for me is understanding people's opinions don't People's opinions ain't important, especially when these people haven't helped you to get where you are. So that's why it doesn't affect me. That's why it didn't affect me. Um, and if you can train your mind to get to that point of just brushing the comments off, and carrying, on, carrying on with what you're doing, because you know what you're doing is what's been given to you by God or whatever your beliefs is, beliefs are. So, um, and I understand that there's different tests to see if you've learned anything from the last time. So that I understand kind of like, in the back of my mind know that oh this is what's happening i'm getting drawn out here so don't don't get me wrong there's days when yeah you get rattled and you lose yourself but overall this is something that you learn to do over time so i just want to quickly recap into when i started off getting into understanding my mindset the way that i am and how i deal with things i think a lot of it's to do with how i am anyway just parents and upbringing and environment but there's also stuff that you can do to train your mind so that you can deal with certain situations and obstacles that you're going to come across through your career and through life so to start off with before i started my business i wanted to change my mindset on on money and handling money and how i looked at money because coming from background of not having much i'm gonna cry <laughs> i'm joking coming from a background of, of not having much uh, you kind of got that poverty mindset so you kind of you latch on to things you feel like there's there's a lack of so you whenever you get you just want to hold on to it and then and then with money with me it was always is a case of money will come in and it will just go because i feel like i need to spend it or if i do spend it it's in that state of angst like i don't know where the next money is coming from and yeah so i just wanted to get rid of that mindset completely so i downloaded yeah downloaded a book from a little booklet thing that i had to write through and go through uh, while listening to this uh seminar from bob proctor called you were born to rich which was like life-changing for me yeah, definitely, it was life changing. So that's when I started to understand about paradigms and your subconscious. Well, the paradigms is stuff that's been ingrained in, into you from like your younger years. Mine being money don't grow on trees. I know that like, you've probably heard these before money don't grow on trees, and you have to be like a special type of person to make X amount of money or 
money is the root of all evil. So it's all them little paradigms that I had to shift. And I soon the booklet through and watching Bob Proctor, You Were Born Rich, gave me a little insight into stuff that I needed to change, which was amazing. Cool. I wanted to be a tutor. I wanted to work in a college or not a uni, but like a further, further education department, helping youngsters like in the position that I used to be in to become music producers and teach music technology and that. So I thought, let me do a course on tutoring. Enrolled in that, went there, and there's a lot of presentations. And at that time, I was just, whenever I had to stand up and talk, I was just so nervous, I couldn't get my words out. So one day on the way to uni, I thought, let me just type into YouTube how to stop worrying about what others think, because that's what I was doing. And I realized that's what I was doing. So I put a search in, and then Ralph Smart came up. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. How to stop caring what other people think. Ralph Smart came up, so I started listening to that. Certain things he was saying, um, and then there was like other videos that I'd watch as well. And it was all, it was all about just like telling yourself that like, I am independent of other people's opinions. Like little mantras that you'd say to yourself before, like, before you go to sleep, or what I'd say to myself before I go to sleep, when I wake up, or just writing them down and put, writing them down, and then putting them around the house or in the studio somewhere where I could see it. So it, just, it was just constantly getting into my head and that goes back to the subconscious mind and just getting it into your being. So before you know it, that's just how you are and that's how you, you portray yourself. Around the same time, I got into Eric Thomas, I think Gary Vee as well. Eric Thomas, TD, TD Jakes, uh, all them self-help people, Jim Rowan. So that's, I would just be constantly looking up different things on YouTube like self-help, how to overcome this or how to overcome that. And these are things that I listen to even now today, like Gary Vee he's helped me so much. It, that stuff on how to deal with negative comments. Like the best way to do it, what I've learned from Gary Vee is, if someone's ma making a comment, a negative comment on something that you've posted, you've on your page or on your YouTube channel, try and understand where they're coming from. I mean, if you, you don't have to, but just know that if someone's got taking time out to spew negativity on your post or your YouTube video, then they're obviously not in a good place. Plus, it's like going to a football match. Like I said in, my, in one of my other videos, it's like going to a football match, watching a, a player who's getting paid thousands of pounds a, a week, but you've paid for a ticket to go and watch them, then who's winning? So that's how you've got to switch it. Switch your mindset, switch the perception, and just, just brush it off because it's not important to you. They're not helping you to get where you are. They're not helping you to, to move forward apart from just making you stronger because that's all it's doing, really. So the first thing to do is find a mentor like I did. Ralph Smart, Eric Thomas, T.D. Jakes. Uh, who else is there? Gary V. So someone who you resonate with, that you like listening to, who you, uh, you can learn from. So that's the first thing. The second thing that's helped me is I recorded myself saying I am a success successful music producer. I am earning X amount of money per month. And I, would, I recorded that and I would listen to that like when I have a pan up, just put my headphones on. <laughs> and I would listen to that and it just gets into your subconscious. So that's just in your being. It's worked for me and I'm sure it will work for you as well. Third thing, write down your goals. As soon as you put that pen to paper and you start writing down your goals, then you can you, you can see it right in front of you what it is that you're working towards because it's like it's like jumping into a car and you don't know where you're going or you you jump on a bus or a tram whatever it is and you've got no clue where you're going like you just wouldn't do that so why would you do that with your business why would you do that with your life I'm not saying it's for everyone but if you can have like a to-do list <sighs> to-do list can be a bit messy but if you can have like a to-do list for the, the next day so you know what you're waking up to towards then do that if you can do like a yearly plan yearly goals yearly plan something that you're working towards for the year like if say for example you get a new diary jan in january and you write uh in december this has been an amazing year because i've achieved and you just fill in the blanks five-year plan if you can do a five-year plan that would be amazing but that's not for everyone I, I get that i tried so many times to get some family members to write down their five-year plan and it just goes over their head so yeah if you can do that that's it's good it'll definitely help you because you know what you're working towards the full thing if i'm correct if i'm still on track so the full thing is what's your why why are you doing it why are you doing this find like a, a real reason why you jump out of your bed in the morning or you just keep going when you're tired like my why is obviously for a better life for my family that's my why so you've got to find what your why is don't be on oh I'm, i, I want to do this because i want to show the people who doubted me that that i am somebody or that i can make it that i don't feel like that's good enough reason also just doing it because you want to make money I, I feel like if if you're just doing it for the money then i don't know for me i don't think that really works 
just find something that you're passionate about. Like Eric Thomas says, he don't need an alarm clock to wake up in the morning because his passion wakes him up in the morning. So if you can get to that point, that level, then I'm sure that's going to help you with training your mindset and being the best at what you do and being your best version. So the fifth thing is momentum. You're going to pick up momentum. I started making beats 2001, PlayStation 2. If you know my backstory, I started on PlayStation, um, then went on to college, uni. Uh, you've been using Logic Pro since 2008. But I didn't start my business till, didn't start the business legit till 2015. And in that time, up until now, I've wanted to like quit so many times. And like, I'm glad I haven't. Because there comes a point when all the stuff that you've been doing in the past, them seeds you've been sowing, the uh, connections you've been making, the learning you've been doing, it's going to pick up momentum. So you're going to get to a point where all of that's just going to come to fruition. So all that time that you've been putting in, it's going to work out. If you quit, then you're never going to know if you're going to make it or not. You won't know. Remember that guy quit? No, you don't. So don't be that guy or girl. I actually enjoyed sharing this with you. I'm going to do some more videos on this because I think mindset is key to, to life. Training your mind is a lot like training your muscles at the gym. Can't do 15 push-ups and think you're going to be hench for the rest of your life. No, it's not going to happen. So you just got to constantly keep working on it daily, doing the stuff that I mentioned in the video, mantras, meditation, if you want to do that. Maybe I should, I should start doing that. I've seen, I know that helps a lot of people. Training your mind to be your best version, to be the best at what you do. If your mindset's not there, you're not really feeling it, then you're not going to produce your, your best work. And that's this is what it's about. Like being able to not just produce your best work, but just put out good energy. What like <laughs> that's what we want to do. That's what I'm about in this channel, putting out good energy. Uh, there's no point in me just showing you how to make your kicks knock or showing you how to play keys or use Logic Pro. Like all that's not going to really work if your mindset's not where it should be. Feel free to hit me up on Insta. DMs are always open. If there's anything you're unsure of in this video, or if there's something you want me to go go into more detail on. Or just drop a comment below. Some, I'm sure someone in the community will be happy to, to reply to you if I don't get to reply. If this video has helped you at all, hit the like button. If you like these sort of videos, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.